Hello, I'm Lisa Turlington, the Executive Director of the Sampson Community College Foundation, and today we're going to continue the Friends of the Foundation series with a chat with longtime Director of the Foundation, Pat Green. Pat, thank you for being here with us today to tell us a little bit about your involvement in not only the Foundation, but the community at large, and so... Um, oh, thank you. I'm delighted to be here for the Foundation. Um, basically, I moved here in 1973 when my husband went to work with Barca Lounger, mm -hmm. and we came from Goldsboro, yep. and I had been working in real estate in Goldsboro. Uh, mm -hmm. I had only been licensed less than a year, so I had just gotten my feet wet, and uh, when I came to Clinton, I was so amazed because I was used to living in Raleigh and then Goldsboro. Oh, that I, was a culture shock. It <laughs> was. I, I came to town and came in on Highway 24, and I'll never forget looking around and not seeing anything except fossils at the oh. time. That was it. Hmm. And I thought, oh, my goodness. So uh, it, w it was a, a shock, but um, I got to know the area, and mm -hmm. I had three children uh, with us. And basically, I started working in some youth activities. Mm -hmm. uh, I started a Girl Scout troop because my girls had been in Scouts and there were no Scouts at the time, Girl and Scouts. Since that, since then, I guess Scouts has taken off in they this community. Have, yeah. both boy and Girl Scouts, mm -hmm. and it's a great program. So we started a Girl Scout troop at uh, First Methodist Church, allowed us to meet there. Mm -hmm. And uh, got to know a lot of the people in town because I contacted businesses and mm -hmm. uh, parents. And it was a great way to get uh, acquainted you know, with sure. different groups. Mm -hmm. And after that, I joined Newcomers Club to, mm -hmm. again, to get to know the area. And um, I started thinking I really wanted to stay in real estate. And at the time, there wasn't a lot of real estate on the market here. I think we had two hmm. homes to pick from. It, it, it was, it was <laughs> wow. a shock. He, Times have changed. You took that one or that one. So it made the job easy. Mm -hmm. um, and I looked around, but of course, everybody, nobody was hiring at the time because the market was very slow and they were all sort of family owned businesses. Mm -hmm. uh, so I decided to take some courses at Sampson Community College. Huh. Uh, I knew I wanted to stay mm -hmm. in business. And, and now this was at the old campus, correct? At the correct? old Indian okay. school campus. Wow. Out yes, there on, on 421. Mm -hmm. I remember the trailers. And, oh. yeah. <laughs> and, uh, so I took accounting courses and business law and different business courses, mm. and it really gave me the start I needed. Because do you I remember had, who the instructors were oh back gosh, then? No, oh no, gosh, I I'm trying to think back because we've been looking at old pictures and yeah, I'm trying to remember that. Uh, but it was it was a great foundation, mm -hmm. and I still use it today. As a matter of mm -hmm. fact, so, uh, but it was a joy, and I went into business about 1975. Mm -hmm. um, and I did things a lot differently having come from the Goldsboro market. Hmm. Uh, I think I was the first one to have a homes magazine and open houses. And oh, okay. Uh, work on the weekends and, uh -huh. you know, just different things like that. And I was hmm. very, very fortunate, thanks to the community, to be successful in that business. And I wanted to give back to the community. I, I'm a firm believer. Uh, in helping others and, and giving back to the community in which you thrive. Mm -hmm. So I joined Newcomers Club, um, I joined the Rotary Club, uh -huh. um, I think I was president of Newcomers Club, president of the Rotary Club uh -huh. a couple of times. Mm -hmm. And I know you've been really involved in our church too. Yes, I, I, I totally enjoy being involved in the church. Mm -hmm. it, it's a great activity and again you get to learn and meet so, so many people. You but, are also, and weren't you involved in ABWA? Yes, I, I was. So when My I goodness, first came I here, know that. well, that's what one of the first things I did when I came to really? town in uh, 90, 1990. And um, you know, we have a scholarship through the foundation yes, with ABWA. Yes, I think right. you were involved in that. Oh so. my goodness! Yeah, mm -hmm. I was president of that too. I've got pins from everybody. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but so. I totally enjoy. Uh -huh. uh, you know, I, I love taking charge of things, not in a dictatorship way but yeah. being involved and I won't ever join anything in which I can't be active mm -hmm. so well tell um, me Pat a little bit now I know that you used to be an instructor here at the college too yes. so why don't you go into a little bit of that right um, after I got in business there were only five or six agents 
active at the time. I'm sure more wow. were licensed, but really times have only changed, about, haven't they? <laughs> yes, about six active agency agents. And uh, so I talked to the college uh -huh. about possibly starting a pre-licensing course. Huh, okay. uh, I knew Wayne Community College. I had gotten my license through them. And they agreed. And so we started off. And believe it or not, a lot of your agents today uh, became licensed through Sampson Community College. So hmm. uh, they're adding to the economy just like thousands of others. Right. And we had great passing rates with mm -hmm. uh, the state boards. And uh, I even joined, I think I joined North Carolina Real Estate Educators Association and hmm. was president of that, I think, in, 90, in the 90s. Uh, but it, it brought a lot of things back to the college, mm -hmm. uh, things I, I learned that, you know, helped the students. And in helping the students, like you are, you're educated, too, when you're... When you're teaching, you're learning, so mm -hmm. it's, it's a great experience. Good yeah. uh, and I became a member of the foundation uh, when it was founded in 1987. Uh, founding I'm the, member. I'm, I'm the matriarch of the foundation. <laughs> uh, and uh, it's been an absolute joy. We were the first foundation that That's I right. remember. That's mm -hmm. right. I think uh, so. And very successful. Uh, great leadership, great foundation directors, and Dr. Walt Kitchen was our first president. Oh, he was Kitchen. a sweetheart. Yeah. Um, so we did so much that had not been attempted before, and we mm -hmm. were very fortunate with the community response and, and helping the students and helping mm -hmm. the campus because yeah. it was a new campus too mm -hmm. at that time. As we were talking earlier, I think this was the first organization who did a charity golf tournament. That's and, amazing. And especially when you look around oh. today, there mm -hmm. is a golf tournament almost every day, I think. But every um, weekend, that's and we for still sure. enjoy doing ours that first week in November and have oh. and get great response from it, as you know. Right. So. And again, that depends on the community. We couldn't do it without community support, which is mm -hmm. so so very important so uh, and I'm glad you mentioned the leadership on the board because I am amazed when I look kind of through the who's who list over mm -hmm. the years of uh, the foundation board it really is you know the the leadership of the community that serves on this board and I'm so lucky to have the support of all of y'all and I appreciate and, and that. I've always been amazed at how active each board member is mm, that's uh, the truth, that yeah. this is not a sitting board where you mm -hmm. just uh, sit on the board and listen to things. It's mm -hmm. it's involvement both in the school, in the community, in the students' lives, and they are so very active and supportive I of agree. everything. Well, thank you, Pat. We're going to take a break and go walk around campus and let Pat maybe point out some of the differences of the campus today from years gone by. And we're back with Pat Green out on the campus here at Sampson Community College. And Pat, I bet things look a lot different than they did back in the day. <laughs> it certainly does. It has grown to be a tremendous institution. Uh, the first building and the only building that I remember starting is the North Building, uh, which is mostly administration, classrooms upstairs. In fact, I think we had some real estate classes upstairs. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then over on this side is the kitchen library, and I believe the health services and sciences are upstairs, a lot There's of the classes. There's some classrooms up there. Mm -hmm. And the connector, which we were so proud of because this is something uh, unseen in Sampson County, so uh. it's something we're very, very proud of connecting uh, in inclement weather. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, in the back, uh, the Warren Building, which is... Uh, also classes upstairs and the student, student activity center, center mm -hmm. and a fantastic boardroom that mm -hmm. is used by different community groups. Mm -hmm. So it's a great service to the school and... We're adding um, a small fitness center too that oh, really? will be available to staff and faculty and students um, in the next few weeks. So well, we're excited about that opportunity. Well, now that sounds natural mm -hmm. coming from Lisa. <laughs> yeah. oh, I don't know. <laughs> well, Pat, um, as we were talking earlier, I mean, it, it obviously you've worn so many hats here at the college from being a student to mm -hmm. being an instructor to being a founding member of the foundation board. And I know you've had a lot of leadership roles 
on the foundation, uh, including being uh, president and um, several offices. Tell us a little bit about some of those um, experiences and, and maybe a little bit about what you continue to do now. Okay. Uh, basically, you're right. I have been very fortunate in having different positions with the foundation. And I was president. I love that job. And I followed some great people and great people followed me. Uh, presently, I'm appropriations chair. And that decides appropriations. We get applications from instructors for different projects that benefit the students. Uh, and the school and the programs. And it's one of those areas that, you know, state money doesn't always cover everything. And there's so many things that are needed in the class uh, that we can provide that little extra incentive mm -hmm. thanks to your contributions. And I've also been fortunate to serve on the Finance Committee. Mm -hmm. And that is probably, to me, one of the most important areas because we're very, very careful about how we spend your money and how we invest your money. And we want to be very safe because, again, it's not our money, it's your money, and it's the student's money. Uh, so we meet and decide and look at the investment plans that we have put forth, and we try to make sure that we're good caretakers. Uh, that's our number one goal and we don't want to ever take a risk with your money uh, and we want it to grow to benefit the school and the students as much as possible. And that's a tough job these days. Uh, the past few years has been difficult with investments and you're not earning the income as you know, most of you know, with your retirement funds. Uh, so it's even more important every year uh, that we contact you and ask you to support your local community college. Mm -hmm. And Pat, we do appreciate that you are such a good watchdog for oh. our physical responsibility. I, um, I know you've been instrumental in kind of helping us set up some of the procedures that we're using to make yes. sure that our, our um, our gifts get used mm -hmm. appropriately, and we appreciate that. And oh, so thank you for the let's opportunity. Let's walk around a little more and check out the campus. Okay, it's beautiful, and it's in bloom. It is. And Pat, we're back in front of the fountain that's oh. out on the front of the campus in memory of Mr. and Mrs. Hamilton mm. and Mary Moore, uh, Lorraine's daughter. And um, I was hoping that you might tell us a little about how you see the, uh, the role of the college, um, you, know, play, you know, the importance that it plays in the community mm -hmm. and maybe how we can help the um, business and industry leaders. All right. Uh, and again, this is a great example of donations that benefit the college that might not be monetary in a sense, uh, although they did donate the funds for the fountain. Uh, but it's a great addition, it's refreshing, and I think students, faculty, everybody appreciates it. But the college and the community, to me, is almost one. Uh, basically, you can look at the buildings, the tax base it provides, uh, and then think of all of the salaries and the employees and staff that is represented here. It's a tremendous economic boost just in that uh, to the community and the county. But the biggest benefit, of course, will always be to the students. Uh, we offer so many programs that uh, are the lifeblood of the community. We have GED. Uh, benefits all the students who go through that and it makes them more employable. Uh, we have the newest program, truck driving school and welding programs. These are trades that uh, are tremendous benefits. I've spoken to some of the students that have gone through it uh, and they're moving. You know, you can be 20 years old in an occupation, but by the time you're 40 with a family, your needs probably have changed so much. And these programs, along with uh, all of the other trade programs and vocational, law enforcement, uh, EMT, basically college transfer is, is an entity on its own. And 
we can save families in Sampson County so much money with the educational process that is offered out here at Sampson Community College. It's a tremendous boost to the economy, no matter how you look at it. Uh, and the skills that are represented out here are phenomenal. Uh, we rival, to me, we rival Wayne Community College, Wake Tech with some of the programs. And Fayetteville uh, had a televised, televised special about their welding program and the opportunities that it provides. And some folks might not realize we have the same thing here. Uh, so we, we can solve any problem that you may have. All you have to do is come out. You know, if you don't visit the campus and talk to our departments and learn what you are capable of, uh, then you're probably shortchanging yourself and your family. So think about making a visit to the college uh, and making it work for you. It's your future and it offers tremendous, tremendous opportunities at a very, very economical cost. Uh, and then you add the foundation to that and we offer scholarships and financial aid and we're benefiting you any possible way we can. We don't want to lose you, uh, so we're going to do what we can as a foundation to keep you an active student. Well, Pat, you are quite the advocate for Sampson Community College uh -oh. and we certainly appreciate all of your service to the foundation and, and to the students and staff of uh -oh. Sampson Community College. And um, Well, let me just add one thing. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, to me, the biggest benefit of Sampson Community College can be viewed if you think of the county without it. Just think of the lack of buildings, the lack of employees, the lack of students, the lack of programs, the lack training. of opportunity. Mm -hmm. uh, so think of the county without it and now is the perfect time to do that because we're coming up on our uh, foundation year end mm -hmm. and we'll be contacting you hopefully <laughs> to support the Community College Foundation and the programs that it offers students and instructors also. Right. And if someone hasn't made a gift this year and would like to, you can go online at sampsoncc.edu and make an online gift or you can um, send a check to P.O. Box 318 in Clinton, 28329. Thank you, Pat, for sharing with us. We okay. appreciate your thoughts. And I hope they come visit. Right.